Applement. Welcome back again to my channel. I am back from Otakon now and oh my god I had so much fun at the con. I met so many great friends within the art and pin community I also met a lot of great people from YouTube who recognized me whether it was through my Instagram or through my YouTube account uh, Some people who just took a second look at my art and then they're like wait a minute I follow you online So that was really cool I just want to say thank you to everybody who stopped by whether you bought something or didn't buy something and just stopped chat It was awesome. A subscriber came up to me. She said she was looking for me all morning and uh she gave me this bracelet that she made me. It is so cute and I love wearing it. Thank you for the bracelet, I really love it. I also got this shirt from the con from an artist named The Ink Monster, she was awesome. And I also got this hat from the dealer's room and it was literally the best purchase of my entire life. Anyway, for today's video, we will be doing a super, super detailed piece, which I'm really, really excited for. We're not going to be using any black inking markers, so I'm just gonna be going in with colored multi-liners, which I don't normally do very often. But before we get into that, real quick, I'd like to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor, L Sword. I've actually been playing this game for about seven years now on and off, so when they reached out to me, I was really excited and kind of couldn't believe it. L Sword is a free to play online action RPG that uses classic side scrolling game mechanics in an immersive anime inspired world. From now through August 28th, the reboot event is going on. So each week, different characters will be rebooted. I personally main Eve, and she's getting rebooted on the 31st, so I'm super excited about that. But during the event, all characters' base stats and health will be standardized across all the characters. In the game, each character has three job paths that you can choose from, and during the event, specific stats that they have will be increased based on which job you choose. My favorite part of the update is that every character will be getting new skills, I always love finding new ways to make my playstyle even more fun and different, so I'm really excited about that part. So for more information, you can visit the website linked in the description below and click the link to download L Sword and start playing your anime today. So anyway, we're not going to waste any more time. Let's just get right into the video. So as per usual, I'm going to quickly start off by talking a little bit about my artwork for this video. Now, in the spirit of Elsword, I was really inspired again by the game. So I chose the character Metamorphy, which if you've never played the game before, uh, like I mentioned before, you can choose uh, a, a character and then there are three different job paths you can choose for them. This character is from Aisha, and this is her third job path. If you like get it all the way to the end, you can become Metamorphy, and she's this magical girl, and it's so, so cute in the game. I love it so much. She's really powerful. She's really fun to play. Uh, she can teleport all around the map. I, I've, this is like second to the uh, other character I play. This was my other main that I always played in the game, so. Really loved playing her in PvP and also in dungeons and things like that. She's a lot of fun. But yeah, enough of me gushing about the character itself. Uh, but basically, the whole, like I said, the whole theme for her is Magical Girl. And when you're playing her in the game, she's got basically two different forms. So the form that I'm drawing is when you're actually playing in the dungeons or in PvP, you have a skill that... Uh, I forgot the skill's name off the top of my head, but it allows you to transform into a magical girl and you get more powerful abilities and all your everything is, uh, all your stats are increased while you're in that form. So I'm drawing the form when she actually transforms into a magical girl. She's a lot more pink and she's a lot, she's got those big wings and she's really shiny and sparkly. And so I just, uh, it's too beautiful not to draw, honestly. And uh, I wanted to draw her kind of floating in midair, jump like as if she just transformed and she's jumping and about to land. The struggle for, not the struggle, but I guess the challenge for this drawing specifically is there are so, so many details, but it's also a blessing because I had so much fun sketching this out. It took me a really long time, longer than my normal sketches take. Um, but like I said, there's tons of details and I hope you can see all of them on here once I finish the sketch. Real quick, let's move over to choosing some of the colors that we want to use. As you can see here, I've got a ton of different colors to choose from. These happen to be from Arteza. I've also got some from Stabilo, Stabilo, I don't really know how to say their name, but uh, these, this brand right here. And I have 24 of these, but I have 72 of the Arteza ones. So I think I'm gonna go ahead with these. So I'm really excited to pick some colors. Let's see what we can do. Guys, 
just saw me choose my colors that I'm gonna be inking with and I'm not gonna bore you with the inking portion I'm just gonna skip over that because basically it's just like watching me draw the entire thing all over again <laughs> I don't want to bore you with that. I normally skip over that portion in all of my videos. I'll just go from the sketching and then I will cut out the line art part and then just put the coloring in because honestly, like I said, it's like watching me draw the same thing all over again and I don't want to bore you guys. But for this drawing, I really liked the way that these colors came out. Now that I've erased all of the pencil underneath, you can really see the colors of each part of the drawing. And I always think that's really cool. When you're coloring with, or I guess lining with different colored liners, you always have to keep in account which colors you're going to be coloring with in the drawing. So if it's an original character or something that you didn't really plan out the colors for yet, you really got to sit down and plan what you're going to be coloring everything rather than just kind of winging it as you go. I've had quite a bit of drawings where, you know, I sit down to draw something, I like what I drew, and then, you know, I'm like, I don't know what colors I want this to be yet. I'm just gonna get the line art done real quick. That way that's done and I can figure out the colors later. And that normally works. But when it's something like this, you can't do that. You can't say, hey, I'm just gonna align this whatever and then change it later because that just wouldn't look so good. Uh, so you have to know what colors you're gonna go in with in order to actually do the line art. But I love, 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 like I said, <laughs> I love the effect that it gives when you have uh, line art matching the colors of what you're coloring in and um, You guys can probably see I'm going back and forth. Well, I don't know if you can tell but I'm going back and forth here between my Artify markers as well as my Copic markers because my range of pinks in Copic tend to be more on the reddish pink side rather than the more pure purplish pink pinks and so I didn't have as many colors or shades of pink in my Copics that I wanted to use because she's got pinks and purples and so I felt that the reddish pinks wouldn't have really matched especially since it didn't match the reference image either and so that's why I was using some of my Artify markers because I actually did have more shades of pink or at least more of the ones that I needed for this drawing and so the only struggle with those markers is that since they're bullet nibs they are kind of more difficult to get a in, into fine detailed areas like Copics are. Copics have a very fine tip at the end, so when you're doing detailed work and you have small spaces to color in, it's definitely easier to get into those little crevices with your marker and just color in there. Uh, I also find that Copic ink blends a little better than the Artify ones, but it's what I had on hand and I had the right colors and the right shades. I guess I could have used my Ohuhu, but my Artify were already in my case and I could see everything, so I just went for those. And I actually don't mind them that much, but I, I do go back and forth between Copics and Artify based on what colors I need. So just throwing that out there. But oh, I loved coloring this. It was a lot of fun. This drawing actually took quite a lot of time to do because of all the details and because of all the coloring involved and I wanted to make sure that I got all of the details down. I didn't want to forget anything or like skimp out and be like, eh, we'll just leave that out. Like, I just, I didn't want to do any of that. So I think it really paid off because I'm so happy with it. I love how it came out and it really conveyed the emotion that I wanted it to of her and like the, the movement of her jumping uh, after just having transformed and kind of floating in the air there. And I, I at first I wasn't gonna color in the background. I was just gonna leave it white and put little uh, purple and pink rings underneath her. But the more I looked at it, the more I was like, mm, I think I should put something behind it. So I ended up going for my black markers that I had and I was like confused at first. He's like, eh, I don't know if I should do this because I ended up using, you know, only colored multi-liners. And so I didn't want the black to make it harder to see those colors. But when I, when, I, I figured, you know, like if I use a different color, it's going to blend too much with her colors and black will really make her pop and help her stand out. And it'll also showcase all of the colors that I used. So I think it was a good neutral background, or not neutral, but like a, a good background color to use, especially since she's kind of, space and star themed in general because she's a magical girl she's got all these stars and things and so i think it works out to use black i ended up using some spark making some sparkles with white gel pen and things like that so in the end i think it looked really good and it was a good choice um my paper smelled really strongly of marker because it was completely coated but it was worth it and so yeah that is my drawing 
of Metamorphy from El Sword. I hope you guys like what I was able to create today. I really love the way it came out. So let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried the game out before. Uh, and if you haven't, definitely give it a download because it's a lot of fun. I've been playing it for many, many years and I have a lot of characters on there, like 20 characters. So yeah, I, I definitely enjoy the game if you can't tell. <laughs> so now on to my final thoughts. So guys, that was my finished art piece. I really hope you enjoyed watching me create it. I had so much fun creating this piece. It took me many, many hours as I said before, but it was so worth it. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see me do next. You can find all of my links in the description box below. I have a link to my online shop, which is actually going to be on hold until I guess late August. So if you have any orders to place, need to place them uh, today actually by midnight Eastern time. Otherwise, you're just gonna have to wait a few weeks. I've also got the link to my Instagram below where you can follow me to see all of my everyday artwork and drawings and everything. Please follow me there if you're interested in that. And thank you guys so much for watching. Again, uh, thank you Elsword for sponsoring today's video. It was really unreal that uh, they reached out to me to do a sponsorship because like I said I've been playing this game for like seven years and I love 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 it so the fact that they wanted to sponsor me was kind of crazy so definitely go check out the link it's in the description below and you can download the game today thank you guys all for watching I will see you all in my next video and I hope you have a beautiful day bye bye oh by the way I dyed my hair red and I had this piece that was kind of blonde in my hair and now it's, it's like super red oh look at my red hair Ooh.